Well, praise the Lord, everybody. Good morning. How you doing today? Good morning. That's good. Praise God. Happy to see you today. Okay, we're just going to wait a few seconds. A minute or so, just a minute, and we're going to get into the Word, amen, hallelujah. Praise the Lord, I'm trying to make a comment, but I can't. Anyway, we're trading our sorrows this morning. Praise him, praise him, praise him. Good morning, good morning, everybody. As you come in, go ahead and share the broadcast with your friends. I do appreciate it. Let's get the sharing. Let's get the sharing. Good morning. Be unique. Me, me. God bless you. Thank you for coming in. Praise the Lord, everybody. You now, we used to have a saying. Uh, the elders used to have a saying. A family that prays together, stay together. Hallelujah. We're trading our sorrows this morning. In the midst of everything that's going on, we don't own the rights to the music, but it's here to usher us into the presence of the presence of God. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As you come in, just begin to worship God. Just begin to bless his holy name, for he is worthy today. From the rising of the sun to the going down of the same, his name is worthy. Yeah. Hallelujah. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Hallelujah. 
We come to make a joyful noise unto the Lord today. Hallelujah, for he is worthy, hallelujah, of all of our praise. So welcome, you guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Powerhouse Cyber Church this morning. Hallelujah, we welcome you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah, today we pray that something will be said or done to bless your spirits, to edify you. We pray today that you come in with a with an open heart, hallelujah, willing to hear what God have to say, amen, hallelujah, so welcome, 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 and I'm also going to say welcome to the replay viewers, hallelujah, if you have not subscribed to this channel, I'm going to ask you to subscribe today, turn on the notification button, that way every Sunday when we are here, good morning April Henry, that way when we are here, you will get the notification, amen, hallelujah, and so today we want to talk about the broken heart, how Jesus heals the broken hearted, hallelujah, Jesus heals the broken hearted. Give me a second. I'm trying to share this out, guys, as you come in. Please do share. We trust that your day has been going well so far. Hallelujah. Well, praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm so glad that you are here today. Hallelujah. For those of you that may be viewing for the first time, you have come to the page of Powerhouse International Ministry Cyber Church. Hallelujah. And I am Apostle Karen Proctor. Welcome once again. And today we I want to talk about the brokenhearted. And before I uh, get into the word of God. I just want to say thank you guys, all of you that participated in uh, giving for Mercy Ship Ministry. I kindly appreciate it, and I know that they appreciate it. So we were able to give all together $539. Glory be to God. And I'm excited that we are able to be a blessing because God always make us a blessing to be a blessing. And so guys, if you have your Bibles, I want you to turn with me to Luke chapter four and verse 18. Hallelujah. Welcome, Jeffrey Harrison. God bless you. Thank you for tuning in. Hallelujah. We're going to go to Luke chapter 4 and verse 18. Today we're talking about Jesus heals the brokenhearted. So that's Luke chapter 4 and verse 18. And it reads as follows. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he had anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He had sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives and recovery of sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised. Amen. So I've read for you Luke chapter 4 and verse 18. May that word uh, be a blessing to every hearer and doer of God's holy word. And those of you that's in the watch party, I may not be able to see your comments, but thank you for joining us. So today, Jesus healed the brokenhearted. And I want to let you know that he is still in the business of healing brokenhearted people. He is still in the business of healing broken hearted people. Hallelujah. So uh, we know that Jesus came with a cause, with a purpose. Hallelujah. And one of his purposes was to heal. Hallelujah. Say the spirit of the Lord. We have been talking so much uh, about the spirit of God, the Holy Spirit. Uh, on this broadcast for like over a month now. And this is still in conjunction 
with the teaching of the Holy Spirit. As you can say, see, it says the spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me. Jesus was anointed to preach the gospel to the poor. And when the gospel is being preached to the poor, it sheds a whole nother light, hallelujah, into their light into their lives, I meant to say, causing them to rise up from the ashes because he had anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor and he sent me to heal the brokenhearted. Hallelujah. He sent me to heal the brokenhearted. Hallelujah. How many know today that there are so many brokenhearted people around us and sometimes if you would just look at the outside, you wouldn't even recognize that you are in the midst of a broken hearted person because it's not all the time that it's displayed on the outside. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Forgive me for that. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. So Jesus come to heal the broken hearted. And what are some of the ways that people hearts are broken? There are several, several ways that people heart are broken. The word of God has so much to say about the broken hearted. And I'm going to share some of those scriptures with you today. So I want you to be patient with me as we stroll through the word of God. Hallelujah. The Bible say out of the mouth of two or three, let everything be established out of the mouth of two or three witnesses. Let everything be established. So as we flip through several of the pages of the Bible, there are different authors that are talking about the brokenhearted. And we know that the word of God was inspired uh, by God through the old, uh, the holy men of old. Amen. Hallelujah. So if you go with me to Psalms 34, well, let me just tell you, not only Luke says that the spirit of the Lord is upon me and he, uh, anointed me to heal the brokenhearted. Hallelujah. Isaiah said that before Luke did. Isaiah said that in Isaiah chapter 61 and verse one. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. So, yes, God has a lot to say about the brokenhearted. And the world that we are living in today, hallelujah, I know that many people's hearts are broken for, for one reason or the other. So I want to go to Luke, uh, I'm sorry, Psalms chapter 34 and verse 18. And it says, the Lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart and say such as be of a contrite spirit of a contrite spirit that mean a crushed spirit when your heart is broken it can also crush your spirit but the good thing about this it says that the lord is near Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Many times when your heart is broken, you seem to think that you are all alone. You are in a world all by yourself. Sometimes you seem like you are going through, hallelujah, that situation all by yourself. But the psalmist said, the Lord is near. Hallelujah. The Lord is near. Glory be to God. Unto those that are of a broken heart. And he saved those that have a crushed spirit. Hallelujah. So if you're crushed in your spirit today, hallelujah, God wants to save you from everything that you may be going through. And sometimes your spirit may be crushed because of what happened to you. And then on the other hand, your spirit may be crushed because of something you did on your own. Come on. Hallelujah. Because if the truth be told, there are some times when we do things that cause the situation. Hallelujah. So that can work both ways. Sometimes because of what was did to you, your spirit is broken 
your, your heart is broken. And sometimes simply because what you have done. And so I want to take you to Psalms 51. Hallelujah. I want you to stay with me. We're trying, I'm trying to build a case to let you know. Hallelujah. Glory be to God that God is near all of those Hallelujah. That's have a broken heart and a contrite spirit. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. So Psalms 51 verse 17 says the sacrifices of God are a broken spirit. The sacrifices of God are a broken spirit. Hallelujah. A broken and a contrite heart. Oh God, thou would not despise. And this is King David. Why could David say that? Why can David relate to that, that God, hallelujah, is near those that are of a broken spirit? Why could David testify to that? Why could you testify to that? Ask yourself that. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. David was able to testify to that, that God is near those that have a broken heart and save those that have a constrict spirit. Hallelujah. Because David wrote this Psalms when he uh, had a relationship with another man's wife. Bathsheba, and he knew this was somebody else's wife. Hallelujah. And he began to break down to God, asking God to have mercy upon him. If we go to Psalms uh, verse one in this same Psalms, he said, have mercy upon me, O God, according to thy loving kindness, according to the multitude of thy tender mercies, blot out my transgressions. So David was not trying to avoid the fact that he messed up. David was not trying to uh, avoid the fact that he screwed up. You know, sometimes when we when we mess up, we try to cover it. We try to sweep it under the rug. But when we sweep those things under the rug, God can't save us. God can't not have mercy upon us. But David again says, oh Lord, have mercy upon me according to thy, thy loving kindness. This was his way of uh, acknowledging the wrong that he did. This was his way of repenting of his fault. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. His spirit was broken. His spirit was crushed. His heart was broken because he, when he knew to do right, he did wrong. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. And because David began to repent, and acknowledge his fault. Come on, the word of God say, my fault is forever before me. We're not blind. We're not ignorant to our faults, our, uh, our faults. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. We don't need somebody to tell us when we did wrong. Hallelujah. If you have a moral compass on the inside of you, you know right from wrong. If you have a moral compass on the inside of you, and some people like to say, well, he or she does not have a conscience, but David had a conscience. Hallelujah. That's why he said, have mercy upon me. And when he did that, hallelujah, the Lord had mercy upon him. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. David did not try to shift the blame. And see, when you have a a contrite heart, a contrite spirit. Hallelujah. When you have a contrite heart, hallelujah, you don't try to shift the blame of, of the wrongdoing, of what uh, went wrong, what you did wrong. You humble yourself under the mighty hand of God and you ask God for mercy. You know how sometimes people say, well, you know, uh, that would never happen. She caused me to do that. He caused me to do that. Instead of you just take accountability for the things that you did. Hallelujah. We, we said, hallelujah, the psalmist said in Psalms 34, go back to there. He said, the Lord is near those, hallelujah, that's of a broken heart and save, hallelujah, those that are of a contrite spirit, hallelujah. Glory be to God, but it 
if you try to cover what you did, hallelujah, and you don't repent, how could we ask God to draw near to us? He said, when you draw near to him, he will draw near to you. Amen, somebody. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. And so there's another example that I want to give to you. Hallelujah. Just in case you are taking notes. Come on. Hallelujah. Out of the mouth of two and three witnesses, two or three witnesses, let every word be established. Hallelujah. Right now, the point I'm making is sometimes we do things. Hallelujah, to bring, to bring us into that broken place. Hallelujah, where our heart is broken. Hallelujah, but I'm going to get to the other point. Hallelujah, that's why I want you to stay with me. Hallelujah, so in Luke chapter 18, verse 10 through 14, there were two gentlemen in the temple. Hallelujah, for a time of prayer. Luke chapter 18, verses 10 through 14. One was a Pharisee and one was a tax collector. And so, you know, the Pharisees were the keepers of the law. Amen. They went by the law. They tried to live their life by the law. Come on. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. And so as he was in the temple, he began to pray. Hallelujah. Father, I'm like, I'm not like those extortioners. I'm like, I'm not like those men that commit adultery. I'm, I'm not like this and I'm not like that. So in other words, he was vaunting himself up in the presence of the Lord instead of humbling himself under the mighty hand of God. And so there was the tax collector. Hallelujah. And so the Bible say he did not so much even lift up his head. Hallelujah. He was so humble. The Bible goes on to say that he began to beat his chest and just say, God, hallelujah. I'm not even worthy to even lift up my head. Lord, please have mercy upon me. Hallelujah. And do you know who the Lord had mercy on? The Lord did not have mercy on the one that thought he did everything right according to the law. Hallelujah. He had mercy upon that one that had the broken heart that uh, acknowledged, hallelujah, that his sin was ever before him. That is the one that the Lord had mercy on. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. So I don't know what you may be going through today. I don't know what you may be facing today. I don't know what may be in your way today to cause you to to have a broken heart. Perhaps someone did something to you. Maybe you're not the one that committed a offense against God or an offense against man. Maybe it is man that committed an offense against you, which have you in a position of a broken heart. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Maybe it was rape. Hallelujah. Maybe it was incest. Hallelujah. Because if the truth be told, sometimes people go through uh, tumultuous things in their lives and, and sometimes they bury it because they don't want to, to face it or they don't want anybody to know and they suppress it. Hallelujah. Well, if I don't talk about it and if I don't deal with it, hallelujah, and if I just put on a pretty face and, and if I just put on the right suit, hallelujah, and if I just get a haircut and, and if I just shave my face and, and if I just get my hair done and if I just put on, hallelujah, my favorite perfume and, and I put on my favorite earrings, hallelujah, maybe Maybe all of that would just go away. Maybe everything, hallelujah, that was said against me will go away. Maybe that rape, if I, if I never deal with it, maybe it would just go away. Hallelujah. Maybe this domestic violence that I've been dealing with, hallelujah, will go away. Maybe if I just put on makeup and, and nobody would never know. Maybe if I never call the police, maybe he won't do it again. Hallelujah. But I want to let you know today, hallelujah, that Jesus came to heal the brokenhearted. Maybe 
Maybe your heart was broke for one reason or another. Maybe you were neglected as a child. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Maybe you were neglected by a parent. Glory be to God. And you're still dealing with those childhood wounds and, and your heart is still broken. But again, I submit to you today that Jesus was anointed to heal the broken heart. Maybe you was passed over. Glory be to God for that promotion. Maybe they told you you need to go back and become certified. You need to take this training. You need to take the next level of a degree. Maybe you need to uh, hang out and, and mingle with the co-workers some more. Come on. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. You need to network some more. And you did all those things that you thought was right and still you were passed over still you were looked over maybe it's uh your significant other told you you need to lose a few pounds mm. and you did that and still they are not checking for you and it caused your heart to be broken Maybe you were in a relationship for a long time. Let's talk about some real issues. Hallelujah. Maybe you were in a relationship for a long time. Maybe you were given that relationship your best. Your very best. Hallelujah. And maybe that person just dumped you just like that. And you did not see it coming. And it broke your heart. It broke your heart. One thing or another. Maybe you were lost a child, hallelujah, and you couldn't see where, hallelujah, where and why should that happen, hallelujah, glory be to God. You know, sometimes we hear people say, well, if God was a good God, and if God is a good God, why do bad things happen to good people? Why do bad things happen to good people? Hallelujah. Can I tell you? It's because it's not because God is not a great God, an excellent God, a, a mighty God. It's not because of none of that. It's because we live in a fallen world. Hallelujah. With man. Hallelujah. The Bible say the love of man will wax cold. And sometimes people, if the truth be told, they don't care about nobody else's feelings but their own. Hallelujah. But I came to let you know today that Jesus care about your feelings. He cares about your heart. He cares about the condition of your heart. That is the condition physically, emotionally, and mentally. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Jesus is concerned about the condition of your heart. So you don't have to stay in that broken place because Jesus is concerned for you. Why don't you allow him to fix it? That's what I just heard the Holy Spirit say. Hallelujah. Why don't you allow him to fix it? Hallelujah. There is a cure for a broken heart. Come on. Hallelujah. And when a person heart is broken, they have a tendency sometimes to become, to become hopeless. Yes. When people's hearts are broken, sometimes they become hopeless, like there is no more hope left in the world. Mm. There is still hope. There's still hope for you. There's still hope for me. There's still hope for all of us in Christ Jesus. So yes, when sometimes people's heart is broken, they become hopeless. Glory be to God. Sometimes they want to die. Sometimes they want to give up. Sometimes people, because they have a broken heart, has even committed suicide. It causes people to uh, come into a state of mental anguish. Yes, sometimes if we don't deal with these situations, hallelujah, if we don't give it to the Lord, hallelujah, sometimes it will put you in a slump of mental anguish. Sometimes it will make you feel guilty because your heart is broken. You begin to say, well, if I should, if I did this, maybe he wouldn't have left me. 
If I would have paid her more attention, if I would have gave her more money, she would have left me. If I would have did everything right, maybe mama wouldn't have put me up for adoption. If I did everything right, maybe daddy wouldn't have never left home. Come on. Hallelujah. Sometimes people begin to feel guilty when they have a broken heart. Sometimes people begin to regret. Hallelujah. Regret something that they did or regret something that they did not do. Sometimes it put them in a state of rejection. Hallelujah. When your heart is broken, sometimes it will cause the spirit of rejection to set in. Hallelujah. And for some people, it will make them become bitter. Hallelujah. Because someone or something, hallelujah, even sometimes a entity, hallelujah, will do something to you, hallelujah, or not pass you through or not giving you the loan or not uh, stood up for you in that cause. Come on. Hallelujah. It make you begin to feel bitter. But I believe that there is healing. Hallelujah. There is always healing for the people of God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. And that broken heart will bring you in a place of trauma of any kind. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. It, become the, it began to cause trauma in your life. It causes emotional disdain or emotional anguish. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Why? Because sometimes of the, the harsh treatment. But like Jesus said in his word, hallelujah, I came to heal the broken hearted. Come on. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Jesus say, I came to heal the broken hearted. Hallelujah. So I decree and declare that healing. Hallelujah. is your portion today, even from a broken heart. Healing is your portion. And sometimes people, hallelujah, has even been church hurt. Their hearts have been broken and they say, guess what? Hallelujah. Because one person in the church did something to them or because one pastor, one preacher did something to them. Their heart is broken. And guess what? They say, I'm not going back to church no more. I'm not dealing with those church people no more. Hallelujah. Because one person did something to you. And so you begin to give up. Hallelujah. But I don't want you to give up on God. Why? Because he has never ever given up on us. He will never give up on us. Even in our brokenness. Even in our broken state of being. The Bible says again, the spirit of the Lord is upon me because he had has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He had sent me to heal the broken hearted. Come on. Hallelujah. Jesus came in the world. Hallelujah. That was part of, hallelujah, the reason why he came to heal the brokenhearted. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. It is important, hallelujah, that we get our hearts fixed. And I'm not trying to bypass anything that any of you have gone through. Hallelujah. Because if we live long enough, we all are subject to go through something. And if we don't allow the Lord to deal with that broken heart, it will stop us from having that bright future in which God ordained for us to have. He said, dearly beloved, I wish above all that you prosper, be in good health, even as your soul prosper. That's what God wants us to do today. He wants us to prosper. He wants us to be in good health. Come on. Hallelujah. Even with our heart situation. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. And so if we stay in that place of brokenness, we will never move to that bright future. Proverbs chapter 18 and 14 reads, a man's spirit will endure sickness. A man's spirit, catch this proverb, a man's spirit will endure sickness. Hallelujah. But a crushed spirit, who can bear it? Hallelujah. All of us have passed through some form of sickness or another. If it was the flu, 
Hallelujah. If it was a, a headache, hallelujah. If it was the common cold, glory be to God. If it was a, a virus, a stomach flu, hallelujah. Some of us have experienced some things, hallelujah, by way of sickness, hallelujah. But when he says that, hallelujah, man's spirit will endure sickness, but our spirits endure that. We pass through that. He said, but a crushed spirit who can bear it? You see, if your spirit is built up on the word of God in the foundation of the Lord, you say, you know what? I'm going to get over this. I'm not going to be sick anymore. Your spirit tell you I'm going to get over this. He said, but a crushed spirit. But when you, that's different between sick uh, and being having a crushed spirit. When your spirit is crushed, it's hopeless. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. You begin to feel uh, neglected. You begin to feel abandoned. You begin to feel like there is no hope. You begin to feel like God has forsaken you. My God, my God, why, ha why has thou forsaken me? Come on. Hallelujah. But when you have a strong spirit, hallelujah, you can get up from there. Just like Jesus said. Amen. Hallelujah. He said, my God, my God, his spirit was crushed in the garden of Gethsemane. Simony, but he began to build up himself and he got up from that place of bruising. He got up from that uh, place of crushing. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. There are some things that will come upon you that will uh, crush you. That Gethsemane uh, literally means the place of bruising, the place of crushing. But Jesus got up from that place of bruising. He got up from that place of crushing. And today, my dear sisters and brothers, hallelujah, God wants us to get up from that place of bruising. He wants us to get up from that place of crushing. Hallelujah. And I know that many of our, our hearts have been broken. Hallelujah. Going through this pandemic, many people have lost loved ones, friends, and family. Many people have lost jobs. We have said this over and over. Hallelujah. Many people, hallelujah, are, are lonely and, and by themselves and their hearts are, are crushed even because of uh, all the, the debts that have been going on, all the rioting and the protesting, and many people's hearts are, are just broken. Hallelujah. But there is always a antidote, hallelujah, to what you are going through and what you are facing. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Don't you remember... Jesus dying on the cross, hallelujah, for you and for me, amen, hallelujah, that was the antidote for a broken heart, hallelujah, when he was crucified, hallelujah, and so I just want to read a little excerpt out of my book, His Blood, Supernatural Power and Redemption. And if you have not gotten this book yet, hallelujah, support the cause. Glory be to God. A lot of rich nuggets in here that the Lord gave me concerning his blood. So hallelujah. I just want to read a little excerpt out of this this morning. Hallelujah. It says the piercing of Jesus side was the last act of torture his broken body would experience hallelujah on the cross a spear was lodged in jesus side rupturing his heart hallelujah when they put the the spear in his side it caused his heart to rupture which resulted in blood and water coming out of his side after he was already dead, Jesus was already dead on the cross. He had already gave up the ghost. He his, he's already gave up his spirit. Hallelujah. But these guys came, hallelujah, and put that spear in his side. And what that did, that ruptured his, that very act ruptured his heart. Hallelujah. So in other words, sometimes... People will kick you when you're already down. 
Jesus had already gave, given up his spirit. And sometimes you may be going through uh, a battle in life. Sometimes you may be at a low point in your life and somebody come and give you a kick. Hallelujah. When you need to be lifted up. Hallelujah. But I came to give you a boost today. Hallelujah. To let you know that Jesus has already paid the price for your broken heart. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. You can see this in John chapter 19, verse 33 and 34. Let me just take a minute and read that for you. But when they came to Jesus and saw that he was dead already, they Break not his legs, but one of the soldiers with a spear pierced his side, and forthwith came out blood and water. Come on. Hallelujah. So when the blood and water came out, it was believed that he suffered from hypovolemic shock, causing the heart to try to pump blood that was not there. Hallelujah. The blood was not there because when they, when they, put the spear in him, blood and water came out. And that blood came from his heart. Amen. Hallelujah. So his body went into shock. But the point I want to, to make is that the blood came out. Amen. Hallelujah. Hyperlevimic shock causes the heart to try and pump blood that's not there, resulting in organ failure low blood pressure significant blood and fluid lost in the body come on hallelujah glory be to god so as jesus blood was shed hallelujah we know that he shed his blood but it was on many parts of his body and so as the blood was shed from his heart that was to heal your broken heart. That was to heal my broken heart. Jesus already paid the price. Come on. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. And so the cruel act of piercing Jesus' side allowed man to escape from a broken hearted life to be able to experience joy and the ability to let go of the pain of the past which includes emotional trauma. Hallelujah. Many people go through life with issues of heart, with issues of the heart that they are afraid to release. Hallelujah. And right here, God does not want us to go through life with issues of the heart that we are not, uh, that we don't want to uncover. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. You can take everything to the Lord in prayer. He already know about everything. Hallelujah. That you have ever went through. He knows about everything that you will ever go through. Everything that I ever went through in my life. It was not a surprise to God. And still those things that's going to come upon me. Hallelujah. Still yet to come upon me. It's no surprise to God, but I'm so glad that I learned. Hallelujah. That Jesus heart was broken and the blood was shed. Hallelujah. Glory be to God to heal my broken heart. So every time my heart is broken, hallelujah. Glory be to God. I can afford to remember that Jesus already paid it all. And if I have to talk it out, if I have to share with somebody that I feel like I can trust, if I have to stand on the word of God, come on, hallelujah. Glory be to God. If I have to stand on his promises, hallelujah. Glory be to God so that my spirit, hallelujah, will not be crushed. Hallelujah, that I can move forward. That's what I'm going to do. Hallelujah, that's what I encourage you to do. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. And, and so, like I said in this book, so many times people are afraid to re reveal family secrets. Come on. Hallelujah. What goes on in this family? Stay in this family. It's not like we're trying to shame or embarrass our people, but sometimes we need to break out of these things. Hallelujah. That our heart will no longer be broken. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Sometimes you just have to tell the truth. Shame the devil. Come on. Sometimes you have to tell the truth and just shame the devil so that you can get healed. Jesus said, the word of God said that 
that. Jesus came to heal the brokenhearted. He said that the spirit of the Lord is upon me. Come on. Hallelujah. To heal the brokenhearted. Hallelujah. Sometimes we are embarrassed about some of the things that we have walked through in life. Hallelujah. Nobody is without fault. Nobody is without fault. Like I said, David, I read earlier uh, Psalms 51 and 17. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. David began to break down and say, oh Lord, please have mercy upon me. Please forgive me of my transgression. Come on. Sometimes you just have to, hallelujah, acknowledge it. Glory be to God so that you can be healed. Hallelujah. Healing is for God's people. Glory be to God. No matter what it is, if your heart is broken because of being bullied, no matter what it is, glory be to God. Hallelujah. I want to let you know today that Jesus' heart was broken. Hallelujah. That your heart can be healed. Hallelujah. Jesus' heart was broken so that your heart can be healed. It wasn't, he didn't just die on the cross for salvation only. Hallelujah. He want to give you the full benefit package. Hallelujah. What is the purpose of being saved? But walking around with a broken heart. Walking around with a constrict spirit. Hallelujah. What is the purpose of being saved and not having the joy of the Lord. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. There's nothing like a sour Christian. The joy of the Lord shall be your strength. Yes, we will go through things. The apostle James say, in this world, you will have some trials. You will have some tribulation. But we have to get to that point in our life where we begin to count it all joy. Hallelujah. God want us to mature. Hallelujah. As Christians, as saints, as servants of God. Yes, some of the things that we go through is very hurtful, very hurtful. Yes, sometimes some of the things that we go through will drive us into a dark place, will drive us into a dark corner. Hallelujah. But there is healing for you today. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Ask me how I knew. Glory be to God because God gave me this word. I always, always, always seek God for a word. I'm always listening out. Hallelujah. I never want to come before God's people saying what I want to say. Hallelujah. I always want to come saying what the Lord has said. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Some of us are still holding on things from the past. And because of what's going on even now, even in this current, hallelujah, situation, even in this current day. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Many people's heart are broken. Glory be to God. And, and if we are not careful, we will allow Satan to jump inside of our heart. Hallelujah. Because of injustice. Hallelujah. Because of one thing or another. Hallelujah. Yes, God see. And God knows, hallelujah, he sit high, he look low, and his eyes are in the four corners of the world. And I believe that the cry of God's people, hallelujah, has come up before him. Part of what you are seeing concerning this, uh, this, this protesting is, is the cry of God's people. Hallelujah has come up before him. I believe that we're living in a moment of a breakthrough. Hallelujah. We have one thing happening on one hand. Hallelujah. With the pandemic and we have one thing happening on another hand. Hallelujah. But I believe all in all, hallelujah, God has gotten, hallelujah, the attention of his people. Hallelujah. And on the other hand, I believe that God, the cry of God's people for years and years and years has come up before him. Hallelujah. He know the brokenness. Hallelujah. He know that we are a people of brokenness. Hallelujah. God has God has heard our cries for years. Hallelujah. And I believe that we're living in a time and in a place where God is coming 
coming through. Come on. Hallelujah. But you have to have eyes to see it in the realm of the spirit. Glory be to God. If you don't have eyes to see, you could not understand it on this level. If you don't have ears to hear in the spirit, you wouldn't be able to uh, understand it on this level. But I want you to not let your heart, hallelujah, be bitter and broken. Hallelujah. There is healing. The word of God say, is there any uh, bomb, healing bomb in Gilead? Hallelujah. But I want to make it, hallelujah, relevant to this day. Hallelujah. There is healing bomb. Hallelujah. In this city. Hallelujah. In your city. Hallelujah. Today. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Jesus side was pierced again. That water and blood came out. Hallelujah. His heart went into shock. Come on. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. His heart was literally broken. Hallelujah. Jesus' heart was literally broken. Hallelujah. That your heart can be healed. Hallelujah. That my heart can be healed. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. So I want to read a little uh, further. It says the purpose behind the shed blood of the sacrificial lamb was and still today is to bring deliverance to every facet of the believer's life. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. It was to bring deliverance to every facet of the believer's life. Hallelujah. Jesus' crucifixion was horrendous, yet it benefit man in so many ways. Come on. Hallelujah. We need to acknowledge how horrendous his crucifixion was. Nothing that we should just slide over and glide over. Come on. Hallelujah. I write that it was horrendous. Yet it benefit man in so many ways. Hallelujah. I am glad. Hallelujah. That Jesus was pierced in the side. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. And, and, and that's not being selfish. Hallelujah. The reason why I say I'm glad because if he was never pierced in the side, his heart would have never been broken. And if his heart would have never been broken, my heart could never have been healed. Your heart could never have been healed. Come on. Hallelujah. It is quite gruesome. Hallelujah. I'm sorry. It is quite bothersome to learn of the details of the suffering he endured. Amen, somebody? Hallelujah. It was uh, pain stricken. Hallelujah. As I began to research, as God gave me this assignment. Hallelujah. Glory be to God that I will be able to share. Hallelujah. Uh, on the various ways that Jesus shed his blood. Hallelujah. It was pain shooken. Amen. Hallelujah. And if it don't bother you, that means that you really don't have a heart. Come on. Hallelujah. If it don't bother you, you don't have a heart. Come on. Hallelujah. I shared this before. Hallelujah. But I'm sharing to a whole uh, different group of people. I remember when my oldest son, I'm not going to say baby. He don't like me to say baby. When I say my oldest, my only son, hallelujah, who, who is the last of my clan. I remember when he was yet a baby, a baby. He was about one. He couldn't have been two. About one and a half, a baby. It was a time uh, during Passover. So I remember it was one Saturday. We were sitting there watching TVN. And they were showing how Jesus was being crucified. Hallelujah. And you tell me this little, I would say baby because he was about one and a half. I, I don't even think he was two. If he was two. Hallelujah. But you get the picture. Now the picture is he didn't even have, I didn't think that he had an understanding. But when he saw that he broke down crying, broke down crying uncontrollably, sobbing and weeping. And the other two, hallelujah, were, were bigger because they're like nine and seven years 
older than him and they began to to laugh and make fun and I had to pick up my baby and console him and console him and I was like oh my god what do this little boy know hallelujah about what these people this reenactment the act of what they did to Jesus come on hallelujah glory be to God but I got to remember the Bible say a little child will lead the way because sometimes when we get so old sometimes our heart become a uh, hearted because of the various things that you have been through you become a uh, bitter hallelujah you want to give up hallelujah you so emotionally wrecked tell your heart is uh your heart is hard till you can't even feel no more come on hallelujah that's another thing that a broken heart does hallelujah it would drive you to a place where you can't even feel no more you begin to get numb hallelujah but god don't want you to be numb he want you to be sensitive hallelujah to the leading hallelujah of the holy spirit he want you to even be sensitive hallelujah to your sisters and your brothers Hallelujah. Glory be to God. He says, when your, your brother hurt, you ought to hurt. He said that a brother was born for adversity. Meaning what? That when my brother it's in an adverse situation, experiencing adversity. Hallelujah. I should be there to cover him. I should be there to cover her. Come on, somebody. But when our heart is so hardened, hallelujah, because of brokenness, hallelujah, it's like we don't have a reason to exist anymore. Hallelujah. Glory be to God, but God want to heal you today. Hallelujah. God want to heal his people today. Hallelujah. I talk about seven benefits of the shed blood of Jesus. I'm not saying that they are all the benefits, but they're the seven that I focus on. Come on. Hallelujah. And we talked about the brokenheartedness. Glory be to God. So again, so many people heart are broken today for one reason or another. I was listening to a young lady just yesterday. Glory be to God. A young uh, black lady said that she was let go from her job as being the only uh, woman of color there because somebody mentioned what was going on. Hallelujah. With the protesting and the rioting. Hallelujah. And so they asked her to give her opinion and she did. And she said by noontime after lunch, when she came back, the boss told her they didn't need her anymore. Hallelujah. And so she got on social media and she made this video. Can you imagine how her heart is broken? Broken because she have no income, no job. Broken because what was dead to her. Come on. Hallelujah. We cannot afford to allow brokenness. Hallelujah. To overtake us. Yes, our heart will be broken. Hallelujah. Live long enough. Glory be to God. How many remember when your first boyfriend left you? How many remember when your first girlfriend left you? And you had it in your little head that me and this little boy going to be together forever. Mm. But it didn't work like that. Hallelujah. Didn't you get over it? Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. So, I give seven... Uh, places that Jesus shed his blood. Hallelujah. And the reason for the blood being shed. Hallelujah. As they pierced him in his side, it was to heal the broken in heart. Come on. Hallelujah. He didn't just talk about it. He was about it. Glory be to God. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. You know how sometimes we talk a good game? And when it's time to do action, we don't put our money where our mouth is. Hallelujah. The prophet Isaiah, hallelujah, in chapter 61 and verse 1, and the uh, uh, Luke says, and Luke 4, he's uh, 4 and 18, hallelujah. He says that the, the prophet prophesied this, hallelujah, before it even happened. Hallelujah. The prophet prophesied, hallelujah, that it will happen before it did. Hallelujah. And then Luke come and bear witness to that it actually did happen. Hallelujah. So Jesus did not just say it. 
God did not just say it. Hallelujah. He actually put his mouth. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. He actually took the action to what his mouth said. Let me let me rephrase it like that. He actually took the action. Hallelujah. That his mouth said. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. I came to bind up the brokenhearted. And so for a brokenhearted, hallelujah, we said that the antidote for that is the shedding of Jesus' blood. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. He, he took, hallelujah, everything, all the wound, all the hurt, come on, hallelujah, all the hurt in your heart. Glory be to God. Even for that one watching today, and you even have a physical, hallelujah, heart condition. Glory be to God. If you will believe God today, Hallelujah. God is putting his super upon your natural today. Even your, your, your natural heart. Hallelujah. Even that condition in your heart that the doctor, hallelujah, want to put a stent in, want to put you on medicine. Hallelujah. I want you to stand on the word of God. If you can believe it, even your natural heart is being healed today. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. And so the benefit, one of the benefits of that is hallelujah, to buy back your joy, hallelujah, to buy back your pleasure, hallelujah, and, and happiness, glory be to God, God wants you to have joy, the apostle Paul says in Philippians chapter 4 and verse 4, hallelujah, he said rejoice, and again I say rejoice, come on, hallelujah, the joy of the Lord is our strength, if you allow everything that somebody say or have done to you, hallelujah, then your spirit will be crushed. Come on, hallelujah. Proverbs 18 and 14 says again, but a crushed spirit, who can bear it? Who can bear a crushed spirit? Come on, hallelujah. Even if you get a report from the doctor, I know that it is scary. Trust me. I know that it is scary. Scary, but you got to uh, build your spirit up because if you allow your spirit to be crushed, hallelujah, by bad news, hallelujah, the Bible say, hallelujah, who can bear it? Glory be to God. Don't you know there are many people that went to a early grave because they got a report, hallelujah, and their heart began to fail them, hallelujah, they sp their spirit became crushed, they could not bear it, hallelujah, glory be to God, but the Bible say a man's spirit, hallelujah, will endure sickness, hallelujah, if he hold on to God, come on, hallelujah, God will begin to shift some things, glory be to God, and no matter what somebody has ever ever done to you today I want you to let it go this is a moment of healing this is a moment of healing Jesus came to set the captives free and whom the Lord has set free is free indeed come on why don't you receive your healing today hallelujah healing is your portion today hallelujah that thing that that lie that was told on you years ago hallelujah call it truce Come on. Hallelujah. Let go. Come on. Hallelujah. Let it go. That injustice that was dead to you two weeks ago, let it go. Come on. Hallelujah. When you were overlooked, hallelujah, let it go. Come on. Hallelujah. How many know that God always have something better? Hallelujah. God want to give you double for your trouble. God want to give you double for your trouble. Don't tell me, hallelujah, you serving God and you're not going to get no benefits. Psalms 103 say, forget not all my benefits. One of the benefits of the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory be to God is to heal you from that broken hearted. Hallelujah. And to heal you. Hallelujah. To give you joy, 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 joy unspeakable. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so we're going to pray. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Father, we thank you today. Father God, I come. Hallelujah, before your throne of grace today, Father, humble, hallelujah, like the tax collector, oh God. Oh, Father God, sometimes I feel like I'm not even worthy, oh God, to even lift up my head. Hallelujah, because I know that you are a great God. And Father God, because I know that no flesh, 
hallelujah, can dwell in your presence, oh God. And so, God, we ask you today, right now, Father, hallelujah, to kill the flesh. Father God, you say in your word, every time we try to do good, evil always presents itself. And so, God, we render ourselves to you today, Father. God, we humble ourselves under your mighty hand today, Father. We repent like David repented. Father, we ask that you will forgive us for all our transgressions. Father, how we have transgressed against you and how we have transgressed against our sisters and brothers, oh God. Father, we ask that you will forgive us for grieving and quenching your Holy Spirit, oh God. Oh God, we ask you today, God. We ask that you will heal us today, God. Heal us from wounds of injustice. Oh God, forgive us, God. Hallelujah from the spirit. Heal us, God, from the spirit of abandonment. Hallelujah. Those people that we thought would be there forever, God, some have abandoned us, God. Oh God, those that say they will help us have neglect us, oh God. God, we ask that you will heal us from the spirit of neglect today, God. Oh God, some of us have been through some tumultuous tumultuous situations, oh God. Sometimes, God, it just seems too hard to mention those things, God, and it messes us up emotional, God. But Father, we ask you today, Father, to heal our emotions today, God, that we won't be wishy-washy, oh, uh, Christians, oh God. Oh God, we ask you, Father God, oh God, to heal us from the harsh treatment, Father. Hallelujah. In the harsh words, oh God, that was sometimes enacted against us, Father. Oh God, we ask that you will heal us today, God. Heal us from every lie that was ever spoken against our name today, God. We ask you to heal us today, God. Even those that are dealing with, hallelujah, healing us. Uh, that need healing in their physical heart. Father, we know you to be Jehovah Rapha. You are the God that healed us today, God. We ask that you will heal today, God. We ask that you will deliver today, God. Move us from that place of brokenness, God. Some have daddy issues, oh God. Oh God, I ask you to heal them today, God. I ask you to heal and deliver, God. Some of the fathers hallelujah, uh, even deceased father, oh God, and they're still holding on to it, God, oh God, I pray today, God, for your anointing today, Father, oh Jesus, like you said in your word, that the anointing of God, hallelujah, was upon you, the healed, the brokenhearted, and so Lord God, we ask that that same anointing be saturated among your people today, God, that we will move past issues, oh God. Hallelujah, that we will rise up from the ashes, oh God. Oh Father God, we thank you today, Father. We thank you that healing is our portion today, God. Oh God, we thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God, we bind up every incident and accident. Hallelujah. Every memory. Hallelujah. That the enemy will try to keep bringing to us, oh God. Oh God, we, we wipe it out, God. Father, we don't act like it never happened. Oh God, but we face it. Hallelujah. And we face it and say that, hallelujah, your heart was broken for our healing. Hallelujah. So that thing don't have a hold on us no more. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, even the shame, hallelujah, of the things we did, hallelujah, no longer have a hold on us, no longer can grip our life, hallelujah, hallelujah, Jesus, we thank you, we thank you for everything that you have ever done for us, it is in Jesus, the Christ name, I pray, amen, and amen, hallelujah, hallelujah. And it is so, and it is so. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. If I have any under the sound of my voice, hallelujah, that is. Hallelujah. Watching this broadcast, and if you are not saved, 
or if you are in a backslidden condition, hallelujah, I'm going to invite you to slide back, slide back into the kingdom of God, hallelujah, and if you have never made the commitment to make Jesus Christ your Lord and Savior, I want to invite you today, hallelujah, Romans chapter 10, verse 9 through 10 say, that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shall believe in thy heart that God raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved, for with the heart man believes believe unto righteousness and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation that's all you have to do to be saved and after you have been saved now we have to hallelujah you can't it's nothing you can do to buy salvation Jesus already paid the price for that but after you have been saved hallelujah we need to do some work amen hallelujah to grow in Christ such as coming together like we did today amen we may not uh meet in a physical building but i thank god for giving us this platform that we can meet in cyberspace that's one of the things we do uh study the word of god that we can grow hallelujah uh join forces with a body of believer hallelujah so we can grow in god hallelujah so if that is you all you have to do is inbox me hallelujah we will assign somebody to you to help you to grow in christ amen hallelujah glory be to god and if you feel led today hallelujah to sow a financial seed Hallelujah, you can do so. We have two ways of giving. That is in PayPal and through the cash app. Hallelujah, all your funding is allocated to do ministry, to help us to do ministry. Amen. Hallelujah. We meet here in cyberspace, but our ministry is not uh, only cyberspace. We have causes and we have missions. Amen. Hallelujah. That we connect with. So all of your giving, hallelujah, is sown on good ground. Hallelujah. So we're going to leave you with this blessing. Hallelujah. Coming from Ephesians chapter 3, verse 20 through 21. Now unto him that is able to do exceedingly abundantly all that we could ask or think according to the power that worketh in us unto him be glory in the church by Christ Jesus throughout all ages world without end amen and amen hallelujah go ahead and put those thumbs up go ahead and put those hearts hallelujah that is a way to say amen that is a way to say i am in agreement with the word of god and if you have not shared the broadcast yet hallelujah before we dismiss glory be to god we want you to become a uh, a cyber evangelist by hitting that share button share it share it share it there's so many broken-hearted people out there hallelujah and that this will be a word of hope to them hallelujah so god bless you guys thank you for coming in god bless you bless you bless you have a great rest rest of your day and have a great rest rest of your week <laughs> until we meet again god bless you